All right, we're back with fear. Um, <laughs> honestly, after my escapades and amnesia, I'm not positive I remember what I was doing here. Going, oh, that's right, um, office building, not maintenance tunnels anymore. All right, headed down into the Armacam building, I believe. Let's see what we find. Other than a bunch of really beat up equipment. Somebody trashed this place. Hardcore. Huh. What the hell? <laughs> Whoops. Shift does not run in this game. Nothing runs because he's auto running. It's just not very quick. Hmm. Little creepy. Whoa. Staggering like crazy. Alright, looks like we're good. Not really sure what caused that or what fixed it for that matter. Ooh, information. The data's uploading now. There's a reference to something called Icarus. It says here that it was a bioengineering program that started in 1973. Something about health issues related to microgravity, loss of muscle mass, bone density, shit like that. Yeah, all right. How did I get on the other side of the table so quick? <laughs> oh, this is weird. Hmm. More grenades. All right, so we're rolling along in here. Trying to figure out what's going on. Um, yeah. Stuck door. Oh. What the? Okay, there was something there. Oh, it went through the ceiling. Great. That's fantastic. There's a lot of informational hubs in this game. You have one new message. First message from an outside number. Peter, it's Carla at Hudson Avionics. Where is everybody? I can't reach anyone over there. I need to talk to Brett about this draft he sent over, but he hasn't returned my call. It's really important he gets back to me as soon as possible. Okay? Thanks. End of message. Luckily, none of them are really long, so it's not too, not too big of a deal to sit there and wait it out so you all can hear them. Uh, save point. And it's shut behind me. Alright. I guess we're going up, up, and away. Whoa! The hell is he? I don't like camo assassin type people. Really? Oh, I can hear him crackling. There he is. Let's send him a present.
<laughs> he didn't die from that. Where'd he go? Seriously, a grenade landed at his feet. <sighs> and so regardless of the information and such that you find, this isn't really an espionage game. <laughs> Died in midair. Three. There's a lot of secret in the background shit goes on in this game, though. Uh, and it's apparently not the first time that Fettel's gone out of hand. That looked like another one of them. Where'd he go? But yeah, I mean, it, it almost amazes me that, you know, they keep fiddle on and keep using him, but he's almost one of a kind, kind of is, and it's a big research company. All they, they're not really concerned about much more than success and payout. It's pretty classic that way. A lot of little details that I couldn't even begin to narrate to you guys about the storyline and the background of this game. There are two DLC. Two DLC packs afterwards that I actually haven't played. I just I tried to play through this game again before I hit them up and just never got. Never got through it again. I got sidetracked. It's not exactly an uncommon event. So that'll be a brand new experience once I get them, as soon as I finish this game. And then we'll go through Fear 2 and Fear 3. I will definitely get all of this, all three series up on here for you. Nothing like having it all in one place. And it's, again, one of my... Ooh! Favorite series is... <laughs> Even if a little disturbing at times. Damn, these guys are resilient. <laughs> The ceiling tiles possessed. <laughs> Ooh. Man. So much simpler with the enhanced reflexes.
because yeah, those guys just come out of nowhere and charge just right up to you. No warning. Oh, more info. All right, it's uploading. Looks like the Icarus program got shut down in favor of something called Perseus, which, from what I can tell, is funded by DOD. I'm guessing that's where Fettel and his soldiers came from. Hmm. All right. Nothing too informative yet, just little details. They really are mostly just little points for lore buffs. I mean, everything massively important and mainstream about it is basically handed to you in the course of the gameplay and all the big events that happen. And I'm back up to full health packs. Nice. I'm an engineer. Who what? Oh. Shit, it's a civilian. Give him a comm link. Hello? Who are you people? The good guys. Are you alright? Oh, sure. I'm having a hell of a time. You said you're an engineer? Can you help me get into the network? What am I, an IS lackey? Tell you what, you disable the local security system, and I'll see what I can do about the server. I can disable it remotely once I'm logged in. No, you can't. It's on a separate network. This guy's such a pain in my ass. <laughs> it's back that way. Why do you want us to bring down the security system anyway? Never mind why. You want my help, that's the price. He reminds me of the dude from Jurassic Park. Just wait here. In pretty much every aspect first movie, the guy with <laughs> chips and soda all over his desk, tries to steal the stuff, and ends up causing the whole movie, essentially. Alright, I, I, I'd be willing to bet just about anything that I'm about to get into some firefights here, and I think I'm about at the end of the video. Sorry, it was pretty much all informational, only a couple... A couple startling shots, but we'll pick it up again next time and be a rather more interesting. <laughs> Take care, all.